Want to find out how to upgrade your umbral lamp? Well, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you're going to need to do, what key you're going to need to obtain, and how you're going to be able to do it, and what are the benefits of actually upgrading that. So if you like how that sounds, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more Lords of the Fallen content. So what you guys are going to need to do is you're going to need to talk to my boy right here. And when you talk to him, he is going to have a thing called upgrade the umbral lamp. Now, what you need to do, though, is before upgrading the umbral ramp, you're going to need a sizzle. Now, in order to get the sizzle, this is where things could become a little bit tricky and you might not know exactly where to find it. So I'm going to show you guys where to find the first one, the fastest, the easiest method to do so and how to be able to obtain it so you could upgrade your lamp. So what exactly happens when you upgrade your lamp? First and foremost, you're going to get two soul flame charges. You're going to set, get a secondary umbral eye socket and 10 dread resistance. So whenever you're inside umbral, you'll be able to be resistant to that. So if that sounds like something you definitely want to do, let's go ahead and dive in and show you guys exactly what you need to do in order to get this done. So these are the steps you're going to need to get that item. First things first, you guys are going to have to warp to the vestus of the Fern. Now, if you haven't gotten here yet, when you get here, you're going to know what to do. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have made it to the fern already or if you have not. Please let me know in the comment section down below. I do want to know how far everybody is in the game. So once you're here in the fern, you're going to see this NPC that spawns right here. And you're going to talk to him and pretty much hey, just hey, exhaust his dialogue. By the way. Once his dialogue is completely exhausted, what you're going to want to do is go back here and make your way back to Skyrest. Now, once in Skyrest, you're going to see this guy. You're going to talk to him. And you're going to, not to her, my bad, you're going to talk to him and you're going to exhaust his dialogue until it's completely exhausted. Once his dialogue is completely exhausted, he's going to give you this key. And this is the key we need to proceed to the next step. You're going to warp to this location, which is called the windmill. Now, once you get to the windmill, you're going to teleport there. And there's going to be a door that I'm pretty sure you saw at the beginning of the game as you were making your way here. And you try to open it, it just put a much. And that is this door with the bell and the ice on top of that bell. Now, I do want to give you a cautious warning. Come prepare to fight because there are some ads here that are pretty powerful. They're pretty strong. So you want to make sure you either come with a buddy or if you need friends, check out our Discord. We're going to be adding a section for Lords of the Fallen. So make sure you guys, when you get to Discord, say, yo, I came for Lords of the Fallen so we can welcome you guys. With that being said... You're going to make your way through this door. There's going to be a couple enemies. Fight these enemies. Uh, along the way, if you look to your right-hand side, there's going to be a little axe that you could pick up. Pick up that axe because that's pretty pretty good for you strength builds out there. What you want to do is keep working your way inside the cave. Now, we're going to get to the door where it's going to require you to use your umbral lamp to siphon the, the girl from the door. So go ahead, transfer to the umbral world, siphon the girl, and just kind of make your way, dash your way across to be able to avoid the ads. Now, once you get to this point, you just want to head to this location where there is another resting point where you're going to be able to rest and kind of get your, you know, breather after killing all those ads. Uh, so just keep in mind, there is a Reaper there that you want to kind of avoid. Avoid the Reaper and you should be good to go. Now, here is where things get a little bit interesting and really fun. Because you're going to get to a door that's covered by butterflies. And as you guys know, that means boss battle time. Yes, but this one's actually a pretty interesting one. Because this bottle, boss battle has you fighting a total of two different sets of bosses plus three dogs. Basically, what we did here is I got my boy Tron. I told him, you know what, Tron? Watch my back as I burn these boys to the ground. So we went in there. Uh, we fought the, you know, the hammer dude. We fought the, you know, we fought the wolves. And we fought the, the cuphead, like I like to call him. And we took him out. Now, as you enter this area, you're going to notice that there is a little pregnant guy in front of you. That's, how he's, that's what I call him. And uh, you're going to have to siphon him. As soon as you siphon him, he is going to drop the item that we came to look for to upgrade our lamp. Once you siphon him, you can easily just double back, head over to the vestige point that we came from, and teleport back to the area with the sky bridge. So once you teleport back to sky bridge, guys, all you got to do is go back to Umbro like we did before. I always do that for some apparent reason. And we're going to go here. And once we go to the Umbro world, we're going to go talk to him. Head up this way, and then when, once we're up here, 
we're gonna talk to him and we're just gonna go ahead and upgrade our umbral lamp which is amazing because now that we have our umbral lamp upgraded we're gonna be able to do way more cool stuff in the game once you're ready guys all you got to do is hit upgrade that's going to upgrade your lamp your lamp has now been upgraded now as you see guys i have two sockets for my umbral lamp and in addition to that i have the ability to socket an additional eyeball into the lamp so now we have another eyeball that we could put here so we want to add the one that uh pretty much gets you one extra sulfur charge which is pretty good or you can go ahead and add this one which is going to regain wither health upon killing an enemy with Grievous, which is going to regain your sulfur charge, or you want to get cursed in from your presence and umbral is both noticed and feared. So we're going to try this one out because it kind of does the same thing. Uh, and we should be good to go. Now our umbral ramp has been upgraded, and that is how you upgrade your umbral ramp and where you get the item to upgrade it. I hope you are enjoying our Lords of the Fallen content. If you are doing the keys for you guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.